Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different view. You know, I'm just gonna come out here to my backyard and get some sun. It's actually been pretty cold and weird, so I need to get some sun, all right? Sue me. But anyways, so one of the things that we're gonna be talking about today, actually, the only thing we're gonna be talking about today is uh, the virus. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, then uh, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but you know what I mean the virus you know like that freaking virus you know right now that's uh you know hitting china and hitting the world and hitting all of us and it's uh you know kind of weird um you know to be having that uh virus right because you know everywhere i you know you look it's uh it's news it's everywhere so you know basically by the way look at this thing that they just built back here huh crazy huh like a couple months they started in december it's already february two months this thing was nothing there they leveled it and then they built anyways all right let's get back to the subject so you know basically uh how do i open this uh, there we go so basically um you know the whole virus thing is uh you know like on everyone's mind and everyone's topic you know the whole thing by the way i'm giving uh this uh video a few minutes a few seconds before i can really get going being on to you know not trigger the algorithm too much if you, you feel me you know what i'm saying anyways hope you're liking the background music behind me <laughs> so okay so let's get to it so basically you know about the coronavirus guys let's talk about that for a little while so basically yeah what's going on with that well look in my in my humble opinion listen guys not many people have died from that thing let's look at the real numbers all right if we're really going to look at it you know more people die from the flu from you know just other diseases other things so many other things on a daily basis than they do from this then then uh, people have died from the totality of this virus um we also got to remember that 99 percent of all deaths have happened in china um the numbers are going to look hyper inflated when you compare them to just regular numbers but you got to remember there's two billion people there two billion people in china all right and says so there's two billion people in china um you know whatever a few thousand people is not really that much when you compare it to that number number two china is like really dirty and messy and there's so many things about china that i've talked about many many times before but basically you know they don't have personal hygiene like they do in the rest of the world they really don't you know care too much for themselves there's a lot of pollution there's a lot of things listen you know china's great all my all the chinese people out there are awesome but you already know what's up if you chinese you know what's up i got tons of chinese friends Again, you know, I've just plenty of China videos uh, out there on YouTube that you can find of people in China, all right, making videos about how it's this exact same subject. So if you know anything just about, and if you know anything about just basic hygiene, you know that if you don't shower, if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't wash your hands, um, and so many other factors, you know, when you just pile them on top of each other, you know, yeah, that's a recipe for disaster, you know, where you could definitely, you know, not just get sick, but possibly die, you know, because you get so sick, all right? For reals, all right? Literally. If, if you wanna go down to like history, you know, something that you guys might remember, something like, uh, you know, um, in the, during the dark ages, right? During um, the times of um, the, the bubonic plague in Europe, you know, basically, um all those people died because you know again the conditions you know the sanitary conditions were beyond horrid you know something like what china is today in fact let's uh look to another present another um present day um example of this not india because again you would think india right but India's actually pretty clean, as dirty as they look, right? They're actually pretty clean, but no, we're gonna move to San Francisco, California, where lots of people from India, that's why I was trying to make a segue, but lots of people from India um, basically, you know, go there, you know, to not just work, but they also go there in order to um, uh, vacation and all that stuff. And then they're walking down the streets of uh, San Francisco downtown, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are already aware, you know, it's, um, you know, the, the sanit let me put it lightly, but I'm gonna put it lightly by saying the sanitary conditions are so bad that literally that same bubonic plague, right? Um, has come back to life and um, has um, definitely, uh, you know, um, done is doing its thing out there. So yeah, like I was saying, yeah, so there's like even apps in which um, you can um, literally find um, all the poop and all the 
you know needles that are laid about all those throughout san francisco but anyways i digress as i was saying you know about china you know and this this uh this whole um what you might call a virus thing look guys you know in my in my opinion honestly you guys you guys already know how what i talk about when i talk about these things um but basically you know there's a lot of things that are going on if you guys again you know i'm sure that even on the news you guys are seeing right now that you know the economy is tanking okay not, not only is the economy tanking but who knows this could be it or it's probably not it it's probably just a you know just a correction but regardless something's happening there all right and um not just there but you know now all of a sudden you know like i was talking to my aunt and she was basically telling me like oh my god yeah it's so scary you know all the things that you've been saying about this and that or that are true like all of a sudden now you know the scary part to me was when they were saying that um they're stopping people at the airport if they just even catch you with the cough and they're putting you straight into quarantine and so i was like yeah exactly you know and, and so i was like yeah guys exactly this is just the very very beginning of what could possibly be something very terrible i really hope that nothing horrendously horrible happens but um if this is it i hope you guys are prepared i really do all right i really really do and you know honestly oh sorry just cracking my back on it uh, anyway so honestly you all should be prepared no matter what you know what i mean you guys should have some sort of preparation all right whether well, some canned food, some water, some uh, some extra cash on hand, you know, um, your coins, you know, whether it's Bitcoin, gold, silver, um, but basically supplies, you know, supplies, you know, what you're going to really need are supplies, you know, more than anything else in case anything crazy happens. But honestly, I think you guys are going to be fine. I think we're all going to be fine. I think more than anything else, this is just all scare tactics because look at, you know, what's going on again with the economy right now not just what's going on with the economy but what's also going on oh, hold on let me stay in the sun but not, not just what's going on with the economy but what's also going on with other parts you know of um you know the, the things in the world right now look you know another thing that you can also look at is the fact that why is you know a place like china a place like um iran in a place like Italy, the only places with the major infections. Yeah, sure, there's infections everywhere and these things are everywhere. You know, um, right now, right? They got a couple cases in Mexico, one in Brazil. You know, they got a few in the US. They got them, you know, they got them in a lot of places. But basically, you know, the major concentration, it's, uh, it's in China and Iran in Italy. Now, how weird is that, right? Well, where do you know that the US and China are having a situation? The US and Iran are definitely having a situation. And uh, the, you know, the US isn't having a situation with Italy, but Italy is having a situation with the Euro and the central banks, which as you guys already know, are the ones that really rule the world and tell everybody else what to do. So with that being said, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, how funny. How hilarious and you know if you want to really break it down you know this whole thing is just a flu it's just like a really bad flu and uh, we can survive this guys and trust me I got faith in you all right we can definitely survive this and uh, again all part of the psyop all part of the look over here don't look over there you know I was just basically inspired to make this video because I was talking to my aunt and my aunt was like, oh my God, I can't, they're driving me crazy on the news. That's all they play that I can't even watch my, my shows on TV because all they're doing is playing this stuff and talking about this stuff and I'm so over it and nothing's going to happen. This, da, 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 da. And then we just were talking about that. And I was like, yeah, let's make a video about this. But yeah, guys, I mean, basically, you know, guys, and don't worry, you know, just prepare, you know, just like you should be prepared anyway. And, um, you know, I mean, basically, look, guys, you know, this this could be just another test or this could be it. All right. We don't know what's coming down the line, but we definitely know that something is coming down the pike. All right. We already know that the elections are coming up. We don't know how these elections are going to impact us. What's going to happen in between then? What's going to happen after the elections? A lot of things are up in the air. You know, I, I can make, I can sit here and make all kinds of assumptions. I can sit here and make all kinds of uh, predictions, but I don't know. I'm at the point of like, I really don't know. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I do. Um, but all we can do is sit back, 
and watch. All right, that's basically it. And so, you know, one of the reasons that I make my videos about living out here in Mexico, one of the reasons that I talk about all the things that I talk about is because, you know, I'm just trying to help you guys uh, liberate yourselves just like I was able to liberate myself. And, um, you know, one of the major steps in really doing that, and I didn't realize it until I did it actually, after being out here for a long time, but one of the major, major, major things that I did in order to, you know, break free from that was moving to Mexico. I know it sounds crazy, but it really, or moving abroad, you know, but moving to Mexico, at least for me, but moving abroad. And, uh, and when you move abroad and you leave, you know, that whole bubble, that whole insanity that is what's going on in the US, Europe, Canada, and many other countries, it, 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 it's just so different, you know what I mean? Again, right here, right now, I, I, I'm in a place where if the shit hits the fan, you know, I, I got water, I got food, worst case scenario i don't have to rely on the grid you know i got a local community that you know has a local you know uh farmer's market that functions whether walmart is here or not um not just that but then you know again you know same thing for the water supply because there's water in the ground here um that's again if you guys don't know that's how this the water system that i have set up there so yeah you know there's water out here you know what i mean like from the ground nice and clean um you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm so good, you know what I mean? I feel so much happier and safer being in a place like this where no matter what the hell happens, it's like, we're fine. We're fine. We can make our own electricity. We got, you know, plenty of sun. We can get some solar panels, all right? Um, we grow our own food. We have a very tight-knit, you know, community. Um, we, uh, we get our own water from the ground, um, build our own stuff. We're good to go. We're good to go. Now, can you say that about where you are and where you live? That's probably why you're panicking and why most people are panic and, and go crazy um, over situations like this because it's like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? What if this, what if that, whatever. That. I don't got to worry about no economic anything out here. I don't got to worry about, you know, no economic, uh, you know, failure out here. I don't got to worry about no Ebola or whatever the fuck, you know, coronavirus. I don't got to worry about any of this shit. All I really got to worry about is um, living my life. You know, making the few bucks that I need in order to survive, you know, and make it. You know what I mean? But not like this, like a lot of bucks. You know what I mean? It's only a few bucks out here. Not a lot of bucks in order to survive. And I get to really do what I love and, you know, really talk about what I love with you guys. And uh, make these videos and, uh, and give you guys a completely different perspective as to like, hey guys, there's other options out there. There's, there is a way out. You don't have to be um, imprisoned by the virus of the week the, the thing of the week remember we're you know by the time you're watching this well it's uh we're at the end of february early march 2020 so we're two months in two months in okay and uh we've already gone from uh world war three to now a fucking pandemic to who knows you know what i mean like uh the the great depression you know like so many things one thing right after the other but you know when you're not prepared when you have to go to work in the morning and that and then that's more important than actually getting prepared and all these other factors you know that are the stress that make up your life then all of a sudden you can't sleep see clearly and uh when everything that they feed you is that propaganda of uh the virus is coming yeah or whatever um yeah you know what i mean that, that that's how they control you and that's unfortunate I don't got to worry about most, any of that anymore because out here, <clears throat> not only do I turn it off, but it's also kind of turned off as well. You know, people out here, you know, they're like, um, you know, they come home from the from the store with a six pack of Corona beer, and they're like, yeah, here I got, I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting my uh, vaccine. <laughs> you know, I got a six pack of vaccine of Corona, you know, and that's it. You know what I mean? Basically, that, that's how it is out here and uh, how it is in a lot of parts of the world. And uh, yeah, guys, you know, I think that's going to be it. All right. It's been a long enough episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please check me out on uh, joseartiaga.com. Check out the Discord. Check out my other channel. Check out all the links below. Check out every single place I am because this channel is always under fire and always, uh, 
you know, on the verge of I don't know what, all right? I always have at least a strike or something. So, like for reals, I do. Um, so please, you know, if you like this content, you love this stuff, don't just subscribe, don't just like the video, but also check out, you know, um, everywhere else where I am because I'm all over the internet and uh, I'm sure you don't want to miss out on this guy because I don't want to miss out on you. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. You already know the deal. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.